Okay, people, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how to uh, trade Pokemon with yourself on uh, a VBA emulator. Apparently, a lot of people did this tutorial already, but no one's done it with a voice, and every time I watch any of those videos, I kind of mess up, and it took me an eternity to figure this out. So, a lot of people have already shown you this website, probably, uh, vbalink.info, uh, and where you can download the different uh, versions, and when you go, it says you should go there and find uh, and download the VBA emulator, but there are a ton of different versions, and when it doesn't work, you just download another one and find out that doesn't work either. So, let's make it simple. You need to download this ver this version right here. The d download VBA Link d uh, 1.8 LAN uh, slash Wi-Fi edition. This one. Download that one. So, that's one problem out of the way. Uh, once you've got that, that uh, should look like just all the other visual boards. Um, just open your fire red, leaf green, I don't know, whatever you use, uh, and open your second one, um, leaf green as well, I do that. Um, okay, first of all, I go to options and joypad to configure a second joypad so I can use two different uh, joypads or ways to control my character uh, on the two different um VBA emulators. So then I go to default joypad and that means which joypad should you use right now and I use one for the first one and on the other emulator uh, I go to joypad and I use number two which I've configured so it fits me but you can configure your joypads here. So once you get here you got two joypads you've got them both going at the same time and if you do not have them going at the same time you can go options emulator and it says pause when inactive window. Well, you should have that unchecked. So so you can use both emulators uh, simultaneously. So, uh, let's start. It always says my save file is corrupt, but that doesn't matter. So I'm here and I will go to a Pokemon, uh, here, po Pokemon Center. And you go up here. So this is pretty simple. Most people know that. Uh, you gotta do the same thing obviously on this other one and later that's a pretty small one I'm just gonna make that bigger uh, maybe that's a bit too big I don't know okay so here I'm um, in this place and you want to go here because this place is where you trade your Pokemon so you press a and say want to go to the trade coliseum well you cannot do any of these yet you need to actually do stuff but you can go activate a part of it so just say hey let's go here but then you go into options and link make sure wireless adapter is checked and go to settings now you want to select network even though you're on a single computer select network and press server and start the server and now this is going, you can go to the other one and press link, settings, uh, client, instead of server, because you've already made a server. So you want to connect. You can either press in this code, it says here, on my computer, 25, yeah, all that. Uh, or you can just connect to local host. It, it, it does the same. So it says connect, and then it says, wow, we connected, yay. Do you want more? No, we're alone. And then we press OK, 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 and everything's OK. Now we can control these uh, and we want to accept both, not necessarily at the same time, but you can do that. Uh, then it will save the game for both of them. Oh shit, I done something wrong. Sorry, I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna try again. Uh, yes, yes, trade center, trade Pokemon, yes. Would I like trade center, yes, 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 save. Now, do I want to become a leader of a group or join a group? Well. On one of them, you want to become a leader, and on the other one, you obviously want to join. So it says join, we're joining, yes, accept, and it's going to be a bit confusing, but you can control these at the same time. Uh, then you get your character in here, and you want to trade Pokemon, and it's going to work. And I've got two Pidgeys on one of them, uh, and then I've got all three Star Pokemon. Um, the other one. I'm not gonna trade anything because I kind of want a uh, War Turtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, and I don't really need uh, two PGs at level 
two and three. So I'm just gonna cancel this. But you can just trade your Pokemon. It's just you press A. Wait, no. Press. What do you do? I have no idea. I'm just pressing. Uh, yeah, you can uh, on the opponent uh, opposite players. You can just press A to view the Pokemon, see what moves it has, and on your own you can choose either summary or trade but I don't want to trade so that was about it this is how you do it and it, when you're done just press cancel uh, and get the hell out of there and it'll say hey this link will be terminated okay uh, link will be terminated okay and yes and then you'll be sent out that's cool and then you gotta make sure I always make sure it's not important but you can do this I always make sure that the one that I'll keep as my main Pokemon user thing because this is always um, this is always something you do when you want to get all uh, starter Pokemon or if you want to get uh, a Pokemon evolved like Kadabra into Alakazam. Well, then I always go ahead and save the one I will permanently have open. Now. I do not know how, but there seems to be some sort of bug when I use this with Fire Red. So I can only use this in Leaf Green as far as I know. There are probably ways on Fire Red, but I have no idea how. And that was about it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't make it too long. Sorry.